how to get your girl to go to the gym. Let's go, we're done, we're done. We're going to the gym right now. Get up, get up off your ass, let's go. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Paradise Life Channel by MG. Now, today's episode, well, uh, happy New Year's, by the way. But today's episode is um, somebody uh, emailed me a question. He said that he is having problems with getting his girlfriend to work out with him. And I was like, damn, there's probably a lot of videos on YouTube about that. Actually, I know there is. And this can be a challenging thing. And this does not just go for women. This goes for men, too. There's also women that are into working out. They're trying to get their husband or boyfriend to work out. So this goes both ways. So women, don't think that I'm um, discriminating you because I'm not. But this one, his problem is he can't get his girlfriend to go to the gym. <clears throat> now... The thing I'm gonna uh, give you a few things that you can do to try to bring her in, but at the end of the day, it's going to be whether she wants to do it. I mean, really nothing that you say is gonna change it that much. You might be able to motivate her, but she's gonna have to be able to make this decision and this sacrifice of working out, going to the gym, wasting her time, or not wasting time, but committing the time to it is going to have to be her decision. She's gonna wanna have to do it. Now, keep in mind, my wife, <clears throat> She, um, before I met her, she was uh, married to a man who was very educated. He was a chiropractor and he was a uh, power lifter, bodybuilder. He was, he was a lot older, but he um, tragically died of a um, drug overdose. But he taught her a lot of stuff before I even met her. So he already kind of paved the way. So I really didn't have to do too much because she already knew most of the knowledge. So, um, but uh, she is very dedicated herself. She takes it just as seriously as me, and that helps, so we just grow together when it comes to this fitness life. But now, for someone that has never done it before, there seems to be, and a lot of time women think this, there seems to be a little bit of ignorance whenever they think that if they work out a lot, and especially when they do heavy lifts, they think that they're going to look like um, one of these jack bodybuilder girls. And that's far from the truth. They're not going to look like that unless they take drugs. Those women up there, those um, IFBB pros, they... Um, <laughs> Nine times out of ten, actually ten times out of ten, they're on shit. I mean, every, everybody that's into it knows that. The ones that say that they're not are denying it and they're lying because they don't want to lose any type of uh, recognition that they've already built for themselves. And that's completely fine. This isn't here to bash women. They take growth hormones, steroids, testosterone, performance enhancing drugs. But, um, okay, let's get, let's get back on track. Just, um, okay, well, first one, I'll try to get you to approach it. <clears throat> Ask her, just ask her if she wants to go to the gym with you. Say that, you know, you like spending time with her and you would like her to come to the gym with you and you want her to live the same kind of healthy lifestyle as you do. And once she starts seeing results, I'm telling you, she's going to want to stick with it. It's like a drug when it comes to working out. It becomes fun. If you're not having fun doing it, you're doing it probably the wrong way. Now, keep in mind, it's not always going to be fun. That's why I have a video about um, fuck motivation. Perseverance is the key. Determination is going to keep you going. But... You're going to have to, it's not always going to be fun <laughs> going to the gym, but you do have to have a passion for it if you're going to build the body of your dreams. You can't just, you know, half-ass it just, and expect to, uh, you know, get to where you want to go because then you'll have half ass results. But um, come to her in a nice way, but by no means, never, God no, do not ever bring up pictures of other women that are in better shape and say like, I want you to look like her. All you're going to do is uh, you're going to highly discourage her and she's probably going to build animosity towards you because she's going to be pissed off that you're um, <laughs> showing her other women and saying that pretty much that these women are better than you, honey, so I want you to look like them. You do some shit like that and you've pretty much fucked it right there. You fucked the chicken on that. That's not going to work. So, um, what... <laughs> Sorry, my wife's making me laugh. 
Um, so you want to come in a sweet way and say that, you know, you would like her to live the same kind of lifestyle as you. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to, you're beating the dead horse. But like I said, come in, come at it in a calm manner and that you care about her health and you want both of you guys to grow in your fitness. This, the thing is with this is this is a, this has to be a lifetime commitment, especially if you're doing it all natural and you're going to like it. You're going to feel better. I mean, you're going to feel better about yourself. People will take you more seriously because a person who keeps their body in check shows a certain amount of discipline that a lot of people lack and they're just not, they're not on board with it. But people, uh, you'll be better at your job, especially if you have a physical job. You're going to have more energy. You're going to find nutrition. Well, those two, they kind of come hand in hand, nutrition and working out. So you're going to um, expand your knowledge with nutrition. So both of you will probably be eating cleaner. And when you go to the grocery store, you're going to be picking healthier things. You're not going to be eating out all the time or getting junk food because that's going to suffer when it comes to working out. If you have a problem with drinking alcohol, you're most likely going to want to cut back on that. So, so many good things happen from doing this. So like I said, me and my wife, we work out all the time. We love it. We both have a passion for it. If I'm not in the mood to do it, she'll still do it. I don't have to be in a mood to do it. If she's not in the mood to do it, that doesn't mean I'm not in the mood, you know? But it's a beautiful thing. You guys can both grow together. Your, um, your quality of life will be better. It's, it really will. And you will, uh, you'll thank me for it, honestly. But like I said, come across in a calm manner with her. You can say that I want you to um, live the kind of lifestyle as me. And, you know, that right there could lead to, I honestly, I was not going to marry anybody because a lot of women were not into working out the way I was. But hey, I found the right one and things changed for me. And uh, it's been beautiful ever since. And other people can do that. There's a lot of other fit couples out there. And you just feel all around better about yourself. So anyways, that's it right there. I'm going to have a little bit of footage you can watch. Me and my wife working out. We're about to go to the gym and hit legs. Happy New Year's. Get that New Year's resolution and just stay healthy. Thanks again for watching. And have a good one. Bye.